The style we're using today is called the American style of Machoco. The style has been sanctioned by the United States Martial Arts Association as a new weapon style. The style has proven itself a winner in tournament, weapons competitions, and in self-defense situations. My goal today is to teach you all of the basic techniques you need to master the style. What I want you to do is to get your nunchakas out so we can work out together. I want you to use a lightweight pair, plastic foam, anything easy to swing. We don't want to be macho today. We simply want to get a feel for the rhythm of the techniques. If possible, narrow your cord between the two sticks at two inches or less. They'll be easier to swing that way. And later in the video, I'll talk about the best nunchakas to use for the style and where to get them. Let's get started. The first thing we're gonna do is simply grip the new chocolate. Now, if you came up to me and I would shake your hands with the right hand, I'd put my hand out like that. And that's what we're gonna to do today. As you can see, and I'm gonna to move to the side so you can see the grip. And uh, Bob, if you can get a close up of that grip. We'll be gripping the new chocolate about midway up, not at the bottom and not at the top, but right in the middle. We'll have more control that way. So this is the, the, the um, grip we're gonna be using today. Now, the first move we're gonna do and, and today, as we're working out, I'm going to use a couple of stances. Like, this is a left leg forward stance. Of course, this would be a right leg forward stance. And, of course, this will be a horse stance. The idea is, I want you to get a feel for these stances because you'll use them later in some of the forms. We're going to start off with a left leg forward stance. And the first thing we're going to do after we've gripped the chuck is call the simple up. And all I'm going to do here is lift the chuck up over my shoulder and catch it with my left hand. Okay, this is pretty easy. So let's do a couple of others, ready? Just lift it up and back. Up and back. Up and back, and just catch it with the left hand. Great, that's called the simple up. The next move we're gonna do is called the inward figure eight block. And it looks like this. From under the arm, the right arm, the chuck's gonna drop out and pull back toward me. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a figure eight pattern and notice what I'm doing. I'm using my wrist to swing the nunchaku, and I'm not using my arm hardly at all. This is called the inward figure eight block. Okay, so here's how we want to do, do it. You see the loose part dangling there? Watch. If I lift up on my arm, the chuck's gonna do what? It's gonna come right back to me. So watch, I just lift up, it's gonna come back toward me. It's inward figure eight. So again, the dangling part there, if I lift up, the chuck's gonna come back to my body. And what I'm trying to do here is to move it from side to side using my wrist, and again, my wrist, not my arm. Okay, so to practice it, just let it dangle down, lift your arm up, and the chuck will come back towards you. Now, when the chuck is on the inside part of the swing plane, and at the bottom, we're just gonna lift it up just like we did on the simple up. Okay, so let's let it dangle. Lift your arm up, the chuck will come back towards you. When you wanna bring it up, you wanna bring it up when it's on the inside and bottom of the swing plane. We just pull it right up like the simple up. Okay, from this angle, watch. I'm gonna drop it out from under my arm. You see it? I'm gonna lift my arm up and it's gonna come right back at me. And when the chuck is on the inside, bottom, I'm gonna lift it up, simple up. One time from this side, watch. I'm just gonna drop it out from under my arm. You see it? I'm gonna lift my arm up and the chuck will come back at me. When I wanna bring it up, I'll wait for it to be on the inside part of the swing and at the bottom, and I'll lift it up like the simple up. Now, the inward figure eight block, you speed it up a little. You see, the block is designed to, if someone's coming at you with a punch or a kick or trying to get right up on you, this block will keep them off. This is called the inward figure eight block. Okay, and it also will set up some strikes that we'll do next. Now, the next technique is called the outward figure eight strike. From this position, watch. I'm simply gonna lift the chuck up, throw it out across my body, doing a figure eight to the outside. Okay, and then I'm gonna bring it back, so it looks like this. All right, one more time, lift up and out. Now, how do you do that? Okay, watch. Take the loose part and dangle it to the right. 
Okay? You see the least part? What I'm going to do is I'm assuming that I'm swinging out here and I want to bring it back. When the chuck is on the outside part of the swing plane, that last loop over, I'm going to pull my arm in and it'll pop right under my arm. So to practice this, you see that loose part? It's going to go over top and under the arm. Now, let me turn around. You can see what I'm doing from this angle. You see the loose part dangling there? I'm going to let it go around here and go into my arm. So when I'm throwing this out of figure eight, when the chuck is on the outside part of the swing, the last rotation over, I'm going to pull my arm in, and it will go right under the arm. So it looks like this again. You'll, you'll start your pull under the arm from the outside, so just let it dangle, let it loop over, and pull your arm in to practice it. And then, to do it, you're going to use your wrist again, not your arm. You see, it's all wrist. When I want to bring it under my arm, I wait for that chuck to be on the outside. And that last loop over, I'll pull my arm in and let it go. It pops right under the arm pretty easy. This is the outward figure eight strike. So what we have here is the inward block and the outward strike. Okay, not too hard so far. The next technique we're going to do is called the front strike. Here's how it works. Again, from under the right arm, I'm going to pull that chuck straight out. And then I'm going to flip my wrist over to the left. I'm going to leave this arm up so I don't hurt myself. So it looks like this, straight out and across. Straight out and across. The wrist breaks and the chuck's going to go back behind my body. This is called the front strike. And from under the right arm, it looks like this. Leave this arm up, nice and easy. Straight out and across. From the side, it looks like this. Straight out and across. From this side, it looks like this. Straight out and across. Okay, that's called the front strike. So what do we have so far? From under the arm, we have the inward figure eight block. Inside bottom, we're gonna pull it up. Outward figure eight strike. Outside part of the swing plane, I want to bring it back, I'll pull my arm in, let that last rotation go under my arm. And then we got the front strike, okay? Those are your first three techniques. The next technique is called the side swing. It looks like this. Watch, up, lift the chuck. I'm gonna do one and a half rotations out here and bring it under my arm. So I'm gonna lift it up. Watch, one and a half rotations. To practice this, hold it out to the side and let, let it dangle. See the loose part, let it come over and under the arm. Again, over and under. Now, here's how you do it. You lift it, you do one full rotation, and the other half just pops right under. Watch, up, one and a half rotations. Now, this is important. The outward figure eight strike is not the side swing, they're totally different. This is a side swing over here. See it? The outward figure eight strike is out in front. Great. So here's what I want you to do. Before we go any further, I want to switch to the left hand and try these techniques. Okay, left hand. The first move here is called the simple up. We're simply going to lift over our shoulder. Okay, let's try it again. Ready? Up, over, up, over, up, over. Next technique, again, we just practiced it a second ago. The inward figure eight block, from under the arm, the, the chuck drops out. You lift your arm up, and you go side to side with the inward figure eight block. When the chuck is on the inside bottom area, we can pull that up also, just like on the right side. Now, I want to give you some basic combinations that I want you to practice. And here's what they are. Remember the first one, we've already done this once. Again, left leg forward stance. The first one we were practicing is the inward, outward, front strike, side swing. From here, we're gonna lift and repeat. Inward, outward, front strike, side, side swing, excuse me. The second one we wanna do is this. From under the arm, all I want you to do is lift, and do an inward figure eight block with the left hand. Lift, do an inward figure eight block with the right hand. 
and just repeat it over and over again until you're comfortable. And don't get discouraged. If you can't do one of these techniques, go to the next technique. And so we go back and forth as the inward figure eight block combo that you must do. The next one is from under the arm, we're simply gonna lift, do an outward figure eight strike, lift, switch arms, outward figure eight strike, lift, switch arms, outward figure eight strike, lift, switch arms, outward figure eight strike, okay? That's the um, next combo, which would be the, uh, what, the third one. So the fourth combo I want you to practice is this. Left leg forward stance and move the chucks over your left shoulder. Now watch, outward figure eight, front strike, switch arms, side swing with round the neck, switch arms, right foot comes up to your left, pull the chucks down and prepare, like this. Watch my right foot, comes up and prepare. Okay, this is called combo ending number one. Let's do it again. Left leg forward, outward figure eight strike, front strike, switch arms, side swing and around the neck. Switch arms, bring your right foot up to your left, pull the chucks down and prepare. Okay, that's combo ending number one that I want you to practice. And combo ending number two is very similar. We'll do it this way. Same thing, left outward, front strike, up, side swing and around the neck. Okay, when we get on your arm, watch. Around the neck part two. Switch over to your left, right foot up and prepare. Okay, let's do that one again. From this position, left outward, left front. Switch arms, side swing, swing with around the neck. Around the neck part two, switch to your left. Right foot up and prepare. Okay, that's ending combo number two that I want you to practice and memorize. Now, I want you to think about something. Again, with the chuck under the right arm, I've got those uh, seven different options, right? Let's just think a second. Okay, chuck's under here, watch. Okay, watch that again. Chuck's under the right arm. What am I gonna do? Okay, what I did is I picked three, three of those seven options, and I did them in a sequence. My, the chuck's under my right arm. I can do seven different things, right? I just lifted and did a round side swing with around the neck. When I got under my arm, I lifted and did around the neck part two. When I got under my arm, I did the arm switch. So I want you to think, from this position, you have all those options. So this is the reason I gave you those combos to practice, to get you thinking about what you could be doing, you know, from, from under your right arm. You may even in a class, if you have some guys doing the chucks with you, you may get in a line and just say, um, front strike, our figure eights. Get what I'm saying? Side swing around the neck. Side swing around the neck. Front strike. Arm switch. You get what I'm saying? So what you can do is practice and memorize those seven options, and then you can work at it, work at it from under the right arm. Okay, that's it for the basic uh, instruction. Before we go to the uh, advanced instruction, Let's watch another demo from that original tape. Let's watch.
Welcome to the advanced instruction portion of the video. Let's get started. The first thing we're gonna do, I don't know if you can see the X on the floor here, but what I've done here, and you may wanna do it in your studio, is put down some type of grid to practice your nunchaka footwork with. But here's what I'm talking about. Remember uh, many years ago in karate school, we had, the, we had the basic footwork, like this is a left leg forward stance. We would step through it if I wanted to go back the other way, I would take my right leg and pivot back like that, and then I step back right, pivot right back, that type of thing. You remember that. If I wanted to go this way, I would just pivot, okay? And if I want to go back the other way, I'd take my right foot over and pivot back, maybe step through, that type of thing. And sometimes we would, um, we would come up to the front in our forms where we would step in, like this. Okay, so the key thing I want you to just focus on today is how we can how we can move in our forms. If we want to go the other way, we just take our right foot and use that little pivot and step back. You see the right foot? And we pivot again. So for the uh, advanced instruction portion of the tape, I want you to just keep that in your mind. That little pivot, that little footwork pattern. The funny thing is, it's very basic, but yet it's so important to the whole style. You know, the forms you may be learning on two and four and three and five and six and even seven. So um, here's what we want to do to start with. Okay, remember the side swing? I'm going to do this to the side so you can see, see what I'm doing here. Right leg forward stance. Watch. I'm going to step through on that little pattern we just did and lift the chuck into a side swing. Then I'm going to use that right foot to pivot back. Okay, you with me? So I'm going to do an inward figure eight block. Let's do an inward figure eight block. Now, when I step through, I'm going to lift that and do a side swing. And I'm going to do that pivot right back to the other side. So it looks like this. Inward figure eight, step through and side swing, and pivot back. And what, what you want to do is just go back and forth. Work. I want you to be able to move your feet and swing at the same time. So one more time, inward, step through, side swing, pivot back, inward figure eight, step through, side swing, pivot back. Okay? That's the first technique I want you to practice. The second one we want to do, watch this technique. I'm going to, I'm going to, again, I'm going to work with a back stance here. Instead of the forward stance with both feet pointing to the front, back stance, so the left leg is kind of pointed at a 45 degree angle. Chuck's under my right arm. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna step, again, I'm gonna step through on my grid pattern right to the front. I'm gonna cock this chuck out to the side and throw it across my body, breaking my wrist. Now you see the chuck is on the inside of my, my body, so I can pull it right back and we can go right under the arm with it. So it looks like this. Step through, cock the chuck, throw it, and let it come right back under the arm. My shoulders are straight. Again, from a back stance, I'm gonna step through, cock the chuck, throw it, and let it come under my arm. Now, earlier we did around the neck where we threw it, we went around our body. It's the same action. See, I'm throwing it, but see, this, this time, instead of going around my body, I'm going under my arm. So here's what I want you to do. After you feel comfortable with this, one under. I want you to step through, throw it, and as it comes back under, turn, pivot, and catch it under the arm at the same time. And then step back through with that side swing, back to the front. So it looks like this. One, two, side swing, back. Again, we're using all those pivots. This is what it looks like from like the side. Watch, step through, cock the chuck, Throw it across, leave this arm up, pivot and catch under the arm, step back through with that side swing, pivot back. Okay, watch from the side again. Out, catch, side swing, back. Here's the idea. This is why it's important that you practice this. Many of the single, single nunchaku forms will start this way. So I'm just trying to get you a feel using this grid pattern on the floor of the opening technique of most of them. 
And again, it's a big move to the front. <sighs> what I'm trying to get you to do, trying to get you to do, is stay on your line. What I've seen in the past is people will turn here and then they'll their foot will come over and they'll end up over here. Okay, so if you have your pattern down, I want you to be able to do it and stand on, uh, stay on line. What's my goal? My goal is for you to smooth it out a little so it looks like this. Okay, watch again. Okay, that's my goal. I want you to do it nice and slow until you get a feel for that technique. The next technique we're gonna do is right leg forward stance. We'll do it like we're in the middle of a form. We'll pretend that this is a form pattern here. This is the middle of the form. You like the judges going straight up. And then we have the sides. This technique looks like this. Inward figure eight and right leg forward stance or abbreviated back stance. Watch, lift, pivot, outward figure eight. Front straight, switch arms. Right foot over, pivot back. Outward figure eight, step through front stroke. Lift up, pivot to the rear, and a horse stance. Okay, let's try that technique. Right leg forward, inward figure eight. Watch, I'm gonna lift it up and pivot, and outward figure eight. Got a nice stance, front stroke. Right, lift and switch. Now, right foot over, pivot back down your line with an outward figure eight. From here, we're gonna step through with a front strike. Then we're gonna lift and pivot into a horse stance, facing the rear. So one more time on that technique. Watch, inward, outward figure eight, front strike. Switch arms. Right foot over, pivot, outward figure eight, step through, front strike. Pivot, lift up. Switch to the right, and a horse stance. Okay, again, that's a nice little footwork technique I want you to practice there. The next technique is gonna look like this. Let me do it from the rear here. This is gonna be an outer figure eight strike, front strike, switch arms, step up to your left, and come back with an outer figure eight, up and feet together, and pause. Both knees bend. Okay, let's watch that again. Our figure eight strike, front strike. Switch arms, step with your left foot, pivot back to the middle with an outward figure eight. Switch arms as you step up with both knees slightly bent. Okay, let's try that one more time. From this position, right out figure eight <clears throat> from the horse stance, front strike. Switch arms, step with your left, pivot back to the front. Our figure eight, switch, hold it right there. Okay, so let's quickly review what we're doing so far. With a chuck under the right arm, a nice back stance. Left arm's up. We had that move to the front where we're gonna try to throw it, turn and catch it. Step through and side swing, use our pivot back. We have the inward figure eight, and then we have the outward figure eight with the front strike. Then we switched arms, we took a right leg pivot, outward figure eight, and then we step through and did a front strike. Then we lifted and went to the horse stance in the middle of our form. Then we did a right out with figure eight, the left front strike, we switched the arms and step, pivot back with an out with figure eight. Then we came together here. This is where we are right now. Now the next technique is called ending number one. All it is is this, step out with your left, out with figure eight. Step the front strike key hop. Step back through, step straight up through, switch arms to the left. Okay, that's all for that one, now watch. Our feet are together, step out with our left, right out with figure eight. Step through, front straight. Yeah. Lift up and step through to this side. Okay, now when we get to this side, what could we do? Remember ending combo number one? Out with figure eight, front strike, switch, side swing around the neck. Then we switched over and our right foot came up and prepare. So what I'm trying to do is I'm adding 
ending number one and ending combo number one together for one nice smooth technique. And again, from this position, it was out with the left foot, outward figure eight under the arm. Step through front, step through and switch. And then ending combo one was outward figure eight, front strike, up, around the neck, switch to your left, right foot up, and prepare. Great. Now, ending number two looks like this. Inward figure eight block with the right leg forward. Nice back, again, nice back stance. Here's what we want to do. Inward figure eight up to an outward figure eight. Left leg, front kick, step down, front strike, and switch arms. Great. This is ending number two I want you to memorize. From back here, inward figure eight, outward figure eight. Remember, front kick, and front strike, switch. Okay. Now, ending number two, what we're going to do is we're going to take Ending number two and combo number two and put them together. So what do we have? Right leg forward stance, inward figure eight, outward figure eight. Left leg front kick, step down, front strike, switch. Combo ending number two, remember? We did that a few minutes ago. Outward figure eight, front strike, switch. Side swing, around the neck. Around the neck part two. Switch over to your left. Right foot up, prepare. Great. So all we did is we took ending number two and combo ending number two and we put them together like, like a puzzle. So again, one more time on that. Inward figure eight, outward figure eight, front kick, front strike, switch. Ending combo number two, outward figure eight, front strike, switch. Side swing around, around the neck part two. Switch over to your left, right foot up, and prepare. Okay, now the last technique I want you to learn on the advanced instruction today involves tuna chocolates. And uh, it's not that hard, it may take a little work, but here's what I want you to do. One chuck is under the right arm, and the other one's over the left shoulder, okay? Now, first of all, before we do anything, I want you to, I want you to feel your left, left arm here. I want you to feel like you can throw that across and bring it inside like we did and lift it up. So from this position, just kind of get a feel for that break of the wrist here with your left. Let the chuck come inside like we did, we've been doing all day, and then just lift it up. Okay, so if you could just, Stand there and to get a feel for that. It's going to be a little difficult, but you can do it. Okay? This is kind of left cross strike. That's what we actually call it. But here's what I want you to do. This is called adjusting the chucks. Now watch. This is what it looks like. Now what happens is the right chuck comes up and does a side swing. The left chuck goes down, over, and up. That's all except they're done at the same time. So when this lifts up, this one goes down. And this comes over, now watch when I bring it over, I move my whole arm over and just lift it up while I do a side swing. This is called adjusting the chuck, so it looks like this. Again, this is just lifting up and doing a side swing. This one's just going down, over, pull your whole arm back. Okay, and then just lift it. Now, again, at the same time, you just drop and adjust. It's called adjusting the chucks. Now here's how I want you to practice it. I want you to go side to side with it. Right leg forward, nice little stance. I want you to step through on that grid pattern we were doing all day and, 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 and adjusting and then pivoting back with our little pivot. Just back and forth. Okay. Just step, drop, adjust, and turn back to the other side until you can do that. Then the next step in this technique is gonna be back with both chucks in that back stance. We're gonna step through this time 
and throw a left cross and a right cross and let the right one land under their arm. Again, it looks like this. One, two. Get a feel for that. Left, right. Now, after you can do that, we're going to do that same little pivot move we did earlier. So it's left, right. As the right one comes back, we turn and catch and pivot, and we step and adjust. Okay? Watch again. Left, right, turn, catch, and pivot. Step and adjust the chucks. Okay, the reason I'm going over this, again, this is one of the openings of many of the double the chucker forms in the American style. The idea is we want to try to get down in our stance and be smooth with the open hand. Okay? All I want you to do today is step through left and right, turn, catch, and pivot, adjust. Back up from the side. Looks like this. Left, right, turn, catch, and pivot. Step and adjust. Back. Okay, so it's one, two, back, adjust. All right. Those are all the techniques of the advanced instruction portion of the video. What I'd like to do right now is blitz kata. The kata you'll be learning on the next video, chukas number two. The three forms on chukas number two, and this is the basic form of the style. Blitz kata, American style. Here's how it goes. Blitz kata, American style. Real! So after you do uh, chukas number two, where you'll learn three single nunchaka forms, chukas three uh, teaches double nunchaka techniques and a kata called double dragons. What you'll learn on chukas three is this combination that's very vital to the whole style. It looks like this. Okay, it looks pretty complicated, but it's relatively easy. After that, you'll have chakras four, which teaches two more single new chakra forms. Then from there, you have five, chakras five, six, and seven, which are somewhat advanced. What you want to do is try to learn everything on this tape today before moving to number two or to number three. Take your time, get the techniques down, and then move on to the next uh, video. If you can, get your instructor involved, Get a group going at your school and um, get the tapes and you can work out together. You'll learn a lot faster that way. If you have any questions about the type of nunchakas to use, where to get the proper nunchakas, you can go to my website, www.chakas.com, C-H-A-K-U-S.com. Under uh, Frequently Asked Questions, click on that little icon. I'll answer all the questions you have about the American style, the type of nunchakas, and different things like that, how to get rank in the style. Also, um, if you have any other questions, you can email me through the website also. So anyway, um, I want to thank you very much for working out with me today. It was a fun time. And um, as we're leaving today, I'll be doing a demonstration using two nunchakas. I want you to watch how I'm able to turn and swing the strike in any direction. In tournament competitions, the guys that are out there doing the twirls and somersaults, they may beat you. But in real life, these techniques are hard to beat. So let's watch.